Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Pokemon Go, which has just had new details revealed about how, well, it'll play. So let's go over this real quick and see exactly what this game has in store for us. First of all, some wild Pokemon only appear in their native environments, so for example, the press release says that water type Pokemon may only appear near lakes and oceans, and as players explore, their phones will vibrate to let them know a Pokemon is nearby. Once they encounter the Pokemon, it could be caught by using the phone's touchscreen to throw a Pokeball, sort of like what we saw with the Ivysaur. Pokeballs and other special items can be found at Pokestops, located at interesting places such as public art installations, historical markers, and monuments, so it's sort of encouraging you to sort of explore your town or wherever you might go, which is an interesting concept, but I'm wondering how many of those they'll really use so people can easily get to them if they're not in a city environment. Going a little bit further, the player has a trainer level that can increase, which will enable them to capture even more powerful Pokemon and gain access to more items. And the way Pokemon can be evolved is if the same species is caught on multiple occasions. Pokemon eggs are also in the game, which can be found at Pokestops, and like the main games will hatch after players walk a certain distance. And there are even achievement medals that can be earned by completing different kinds of challenges. There's no word on what those challenges will be or what shape they'll take, but there are going to be challenges and ways to keep you playing constantly. And something that we were not aware of at all is that during gameplay, players can actually join one of three teams and engage in gym battles with other teams. Once they join a team, players can assign their Pokemon to empty gyms, and like Pokestops, gyms can be found at real locations in the world, and because only one Pokemon per player can be placed at a given gym, team members will need to work together to build a strong defense. So it's the more people on your team, the more defense you have placed in these empty gyms, and you can claim these gyms. And a gym claimed by one team can be challenged by the other two teams. It sounds interesting how they have this all set up, but the, again, the big concern I have is that I'm from a relatively small town. There's not exactly a lot of historical places or markers like that. Now, I am aware of local markers, but I'm not sure if they'll get that exact that I can go to that marker and use a Pokestop in that way. So it seems like a little bit of traveling will be a necessity for Pokemon Go. Who knows how wide a variety you have within the game, but we'll have to see because there is going to be a user test limited to Japan uh, to help you know, flesh out these things and make it uh, work as hopefully as well as possible. So with all that said, thank you guys for watching. And of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Pokemon Go and other things gaming as well. All right, guys. Bye.